Dobar den i pozdrav. Greetings to all of you from the U.S. Embassy in Skopje. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to participate in the United Macedonian Diaspora's third annual global conference. I am especially honored to be named as a recipient of the UMD Macedonia Friendship Award with other distinguished luminaries this year. I was lucky enough to serve with Ambassador Chris Hill, one of this generation's most respected diplomats, during my first tour in Macedonia from 1997 to 1999, and he has been a friend and mentor ever since. Dr. Victor Friedman is also a friend of many years, and his incredible depth of knowledge on Macedonia and the region has been an important resource for me and my colleagues. Major General Duby is a friend of mine and indeed a friend of Macedonia. The work we have done together and the remarkable partnership between the Vermont National Guard and the Army of the Republic of Macedonia has played a valuable role in strengthening our bilateral relations. And I have for many years enjoyed the insights of Jason Miko and what he brings to this relationship. I'm sorry not to be with you in Washington, particularly because I really miss Solve, who is there with you now. But I can assure you that here on the ground in Macedonia, the important work of building on the partnership between our two countries continues. As a friend of Macedonia, the United States of America has invested well over $1 billion since 1993 to create jobs, reduce corruption, renovate schools, and prepare Macedonian students for the 21st century. Over 300 Peace Corps volunteers have served in education and community development. We have helped train professionals in virtually every sector and sent hundreds of Macedonians to the United States on exchange programs. In his letter to me about this award, my friend Meto Koloski highlighted also our support of Macedonia's precious cultural heritage. Through the Ambassador's Fund for Cultural Preservation, we at U.S. Embassy Skopje have provided hundreds of thousands of dollars to preserve numerous magnificent cultural sites around the country, including current projects like fixing the badly damaged early Christian frescoes from the ancient archaeological site of Stobi, and restoration of the superb Byzantine-era Perivleptos Church in Ohrid. The Perivleptos grant of $650,000 is the largest such project in Europe, and I am proud to say that our embassy in Macedonia has received more support through this special fund from the State Department than any other mission. I know you understand why it is so important to provide this support. Because we share the values of the people of Macedonia, we value and respect their cultural treasures, and we share their goals of prosperity, security, greater opportunity, and full membership in a Europe whole, peaceful, free, and democratic. It has been a true honor for me to be the fifth United States Ambassador to Macedonia. I return next month to Washington and in my new role as the Deputy Assistant Secretary of State for the Balkans, I will continue to extend the hand of friendship and support to the people and to the government of the Republic of Macedonia, as will my successor here in Skopje. The United States will remain a steadfast friend of Macedonia, which needs only to take that hand of friendship so that we may together move forward. Thank you all again, and all my very best wishes. Blagodrem nogu, isenai ubovo.